how Meghan Markle and Harry could follow this nearly 100-year-old wedding ring tradition. The couple will marry on May 19 at St. George's Chapel in Windsor Castle, six months after they announced their engagement in November. Meghan broke with royal tradition on Christmas Day as she joined her royal beau to celebrate with the Queen and her soon-to-be-in-laws at Sandringham despite the usual no-ring, no-bring policy. But the former suit star may not be as keen to break in one royal tradition surrounding wedding bands. According to Clarence House, the royal family use pure Welsh gold to create their wedding rings and have done for the past 94 years. A tweet read, On the fifth day of Clarence House Christmas, my true love sent to me. Welsh Gold Rings Did you know the British royal family have used pure Welsh gold to create their wedding rings since 1923? The Welsh gold they use is particularly rare and comes from the Clogaw Street, David Gold Mine and Old Law, Wales, which is no longer in operation. Members of the royal family have used the gold to create their weddings bands since the Queen Mother married the Duke of York on 26 April. 1923 enough gold was left over for the Queen's wedding in 1947 as well as also being used for the late Princess Margaret, the Princess Royal and the 1981 marriage of Prince Charles and Diana, and in 2011, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge were wed using the same Welsh gold bands. Now Harry and Meghan could be next in line to inherit some of the fast depleting royal gold. Royal watchers are also wondering who will create the special bands after Wardsky of Landidno made the ring for the wedding of Prince William and Catherine Middleton. The company have a history of working with the monarchy, having fashioned the wedding bands for the Prince of Wales and Mrs. Camilla Parker Bowles in 2005. Meghan's engagement ring designed personally by Prince Harry, was created by the Queen's preferred jeweler, Cleave and Company. Experts suggest it includes diamonds that could be worth up to £260,000, with the center diamond coming from Botswana with two others from his mother Princess Diana's personal collection. Catherine Money, Vice President of Strategy and Merchandising at Brilliant Earth, an ethically sourced jewelry company, estimated the ring has 6.5 carats in total, with the center diamond roughly 5 carats. She said, This ring is priceless with unmatched cultural significance.